Thank you for watching the TDC Heart Rods YouTube channel. Hello guys, uh, welcome back. Um, so back to work on the T-Bird, Thunderbird technically. Um, and in this video, we are going to uh, paint under the hood. And this is what I call a facelift paint job for under the hood, where the engine doesn't come out, the radiator doesn't come out. Um, but what I do is, so on this side, keep starting all the way there. So these hoses here are super swelled and like they're so stiff that when I curl it, it stays there. So we need to replace those hoses no matter what. And you can see how swelled they are around that clamp. Um, so I'll drain the antifreeze. We'll pull the upper radiator hose pull the, um, these heater hoses, this boot has a hole in it. So we're going to pull the boot off, pull the spark plug wires out, the coil, the radiator, or in the air filter, the valve covers, um, the brake booster, we'll, we'll keep everything there, but we'll unbolt it and lift it up. Uh, the voltage regulator will come off, um, power steering pump will get moved out of the way. And then any of the wiring, anything that's just laying here or that you can unbolt and lift up, we don't really want to be painting over. There would no need to be painting the wires. So we'll lift them up and mask it all off. Um, and then my biggest thing is I don't really love doing it this way, especially if it was up to me, the whole drivetrain would come out. We would clean it all up real good. Um, we freshen up any gaskets and then put it all back together. Well, um, a lot of people can't afford that. So this is just what I call a facelift because it is a whole lot cheaper. It's still really good quality paint. Um, and the process, this is what I'm getting at, is the process is still the same. So yeah, we may leave the engine in here and we may not pull any of this hood bracketry off and the brake master cylinder won't come off. Um, the radiator won't come out. Every single thing that we're painting though will still get... Hey Bubba, hey. Can you be quiet for a second? Every single thing that we're painting will still get sanded. So that's my biggest thing. So somebody has already been in here. That's the factory color. And they have probably rattle canned and didn't sand. Like, it's not that the rattle can is bad. Yes, rattle can is cheap, but it's not that the rattle can is bad. It's that they didn't prep it. And then like this VIN tag here, this kind of stuff drives me nuts. They painted over it rather than masking it. So I'm gonna take some paint stripper and very lightly try to get that all cleaned up. Um, so, hey, hey, hey. Hey, Diesel, huh? can you be quiet for a minute? I'm trying to put these in. It's me out. So, um, anyway, so we will, I'm gonna go start pulling radiator hoses and draining antifreeze and just trying to get this cleaned up as much as possible. This fuel bowl here keeps leaking, so I do not want to paint and then find out that the fuel bowl is still leaking. Because fuel on paint, gasoline on paint is not good. So I'm going to try to fix that leak first. Um, yeah, anyways, so I am going to get to work on this. And I'll probably set up a time lapse of me pulling a whole bunch of stuff off of it so then it can get stripped down as far as I'm going to strip it down um, to paint and uh, yeah so I'm going to get to work and I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, um, I got a bunch of stuff pulled off here, um, but I wanted to show you a couple of things while they were fresh on my mind. 
Um, the first thing is I've been doing this for a long time. So like these lines here are lines that somebody had started to put in for the AC. They put the AC condenser up there, but that's the only thing that they ever got hooked up. But like you see how dirty and nasty this, um, this hose is. So if you have an older vehicle that the hoses are still good if they're not good or if they show any signs of not being good just replace them it's not worth cleaning up some radiator hoses to make them look pretty and they're going to blow 20 miles down the road but um, if you have hoses like these like these ac lines are brand new they've never been hooked up they've just been sitting here there's no sun rot they're still good hoses so if they look all nasty, if you take, and I'll show you the after, once when I'm done, I'll show you what it looks like. If you take some Scotch-Brite or even like the green scrubbing pads that you wash your dishes with and some degreaser, or what I like to use is paint thinner or lacquer thinner. Lacquer thinners are pretty darn aggressive, so you gotta be careful with it. But you take that and you wrap it around it and then rub it down and then wipe it off, these hoses will look brand spanking new. Um, little trick that I learned just over doing it. Um, anyways, and then I got this um, little Vintag all cleaned up. Um, pretty much everything, like I'm gonna pull the valve covers and the oil fill cap, and I might even pull the carb. I'm having a little bit of a carb issue, so I might pull it um, to paint as much of the engine as I can. I got antifreeze everywhere, so I gotta wash all the antifreeze down off of it. Um, brake stuff's undone. Uh, starter solenoids undone. Relay, I mean, the, not the relay, the uh, voltage regulator. Um, I still need to pull these wires. So I got like these wires here. These ones go to the headlights. Those ones go to the regulator, starter solenoid, but that harness there, I'm going to pull it and lay it over the fender. Um, and then time to get in here and start sanding. So I'm going to sand this with um, 320s and some red Scotch-Brite and get real detailed in it so then this kind of crap doesn't ever happen again. If that was sanded, I don't care if they use rattle can, it wouldn't peel like that. It might fade and not be not look super good, but it wouldn't peel like that, or like that. Um, anyways, so I, that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna pull the wires back and then get to sanding. Um, and then after I paint all the black around here, then I'll pull the valve covers and the oil cap, and I'm gonna clean up the valve covers and polish them and paint the blue of the engine, which I was a little surprised. Every 56 T-Bird I've ever seen that's factory engine is always red and I was surprised that this one was blue but after further investigation it was red um, anyways so I'm gonna get back to it and uh, show you guys the aftermath so we made some progress over here kind of um, but I was thinking about this and I wanted to show you guys well not show you but tell you a little trick that I've done in the past with other facelift jobs like this. Um, because if this was a full restoration, obviously every single thing under here would be pulled out and it would, yeah, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. But um, that's not what this job is. So on older vehicles, so you got like this wiring harness here that looks like crap especially now that you put it up next to some nice fresh paint and then when all of this out here is brand new really high quality paint that's going to look even worse so like on the rubber hoses that i was telling you with some lacquer thinner and some scotch bright you can clean that up the issue with doing that with these is some of these older brittle wires it's not good to put to be moving them around a lot and stuff like that but if you can pull the harness out like this where and then mask all behind mask it all off really good and then clean it up the best that you possibly can without destroying it 
Like, I'm not saying to paint the wires. Don't paint the wires. Just where the original electrical tape is, you can mask off the wires and then hit this with flat black paint. Everything else from at least all of the older stuff that I've done underneath the hoods are either body color and what's not body color is usually semi-gloss black. So that's what I try to put it back as a semi-gloss. But the wiring and like the old loom that was in there was always like a flat black color. So I found that that looks really good if you go back, mask it all off real good. Don't paint the wires. Anyways, um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. So now the next step is I gotta wait for all this black to dry that I sprayed. And then that's when all the wheel masking happens. I gotta mask off, you know, pull the valve covers, pull the chrome stuff off. I'm going to actually, I think, I don't know. Anyways, and then lots and lots of masking to make sure that I don't get blue anywhere on the black. So really this stuff needs to sit for hours and hours. So I'm gonna go work on something else and uh, come back to it. But yeah, just wanted to tell you guys about painting the wire loom flat black it looks really nice it makes for a nice contrast anyways i'm gonna get back to work okay well we got the blue of the engine painted and then um put the radiator hose back on but you can see with a little bit of degreaser some still orange scotch bright and a rag that hose looks brand new looks very nice um i still need to go buy the radiator hoses i mean the heater hoses i haven't went and bought them i'm waiting for this new piece to show up i did pull the valve covers off and clean them all up and put new valve cover gaskets on it um and then i got a pile of all the vacuum lines and fuel line and all that sitting over there that i gotta um get all painted so originally the engine was red on these and the owner back sometime back in the seventies, he wanted it blue. So he painted it blue and he wanted it blue again. Um, well, originally none of these fuel lines um, or vacuum lines or anything would have been painted. They would have just been bare metal. Um, and I actually like that look. I think it looks pretty good, but because these have been painted so many different times, I'm just gonna strip the paint off, clean it up real nice. And I think it would look really good if, especially on this side, is where all the lines run. If the fuel line lines and vacuum lines were all painted black. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm waiting for some more of this paint to dry. And then I'm going to mask everything around here up and sand this over, I mean, this reservoir, the power steering reservoir, and get it painted. The I'm going to paint it silver. The voltage regulator that sits right here, it, um, I'm going to clean these wires up too, try to make them look newish again. Um, but it looks like crap. You can see it still works great, um, but it doesn't look good. It's got like all sorts of junk on it. So I'm going to clean it up the best that I can. If I can make it look new, I will. If not, I'm going to paint the base. So this part right here, I'll paint it black and then paint it the same paint, because you can pull the top off. I'll paint the top the same color as the engine. Just trying to, I would love for it to be able to clean it up and have those number, I mean, all the auto light stuff on there. I think that would be awesome. A good little touch. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that I got, it's looking so much better. Um, I just got, oh my gosh, I'm shaking so bad. I just got to, uh, keep plugging away, putting everything back in. I got brand new spark plug wires for it. And so I got to put the cap on there and paint the coil mount. And anyways, got to do a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to keep chugging along. So, um, the regulator. I could not clean up the top, so I painted it the same color as the engine. I thought that actually, especially if you look from back far, it looks pretty good. But the bottom, I was able to get it all cleaned up pretty good. That turned out sweet. 
Um, I still need a few more things, like we need to buy a new battery for it. Um, the clamps that hold the spark plug wires to the block, um, which is where the ground cable actually goes, I had to paint those clamps, so they're not technically done. I need a new sill for this fuel bowl. Um, I haven't went, I haven't went to town to get the heater hoses um, yet, but I don't even, I don't want to put those in anyways until I mount the AC, but that's going to be a totally separate video and I'm waiting for one more part to show up for it before I can mount it. Um, and I'm waiting for this um, ducting piece. Um, yeah, anyways, oh, one thing I've, for the last two times I've talked, um, one trick that I wanted to show you guys, but I got it all done and put up now, but I'll tell you about it. So if you got something like the distributor, I never pulled the distributor out. I could have, but then I could, have, I would have had to retime it and this for what we're doing, we, there's no need to. So to like wrap something like that, it'd be kind of a pain in the butt to wrap a bunch of tape around it. So a trick that I would say an old man told me, but I was a kid and he's probably my age. Now, he was probably my age when he told me, and I was just a kid when he told me. So, I guess I'm an old man. Um, anyways, is tin foil, aluminum foil, like that you, that you use for cooking. Um, those work, that works amazing to like pull out a big sheet and wrap it around here. And then maybe just put a little bit of tape around the bottom. Um, like you can do that with a carburetor, all sorts of different stuff. Um, it works great. When I do auto body insurance work, I use it a lot for wrapping AC lines or radiator lines, whatever, just to mask it off. If I'm painting like a radiator support or inner fender or something like that, um, it works really good. So I meant to show you guys that earlier, but, um, anyway, so we got the overflow tank, not the overflow, the power steering reservoir painted yeah everything's painted actually it's all painted all ready to go just waiting for some ac parts some hoses just random things that i'm waiting for um but yeah i think it looked looks sweet so 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 much better than it did and turned out awesome this is probably the fifth one that i've done where i've never pulled the engine out um yeah and it's if you see it in person, it still looks really good. If you look super hard and be all picky about it, you can tell that the engine wasn't pulled. Um, but yeah, if you're not pulling the engine, I think it looks sweet. And for a car like this, it's only to get driven a few times a year. I think it's perfect. It'll go, go to a bunch of car shows. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, yeah. Anyways, so I hope you guys like this video. Hopefully I taught you guys something. Um, yeah, I didn't get a bunch of super detailed, this is how I do it, but hopefully there's something in here that I taught you guys. Um, yeah, anyways, um, yeah, I think that's it. So uh, once again, thanks for watching. Hope everybody had a great day, and uh, I will see you guys on the next one.